For this image, I already checked, it looked absolutely amazing with some of the profiles, but it would be not fair if every time I go with the profiles. So this time I'm actually going with Adobe Color and everything, once again, I'm going to do manually. So first of all, recovering the shadows and recovering the blacks. So now we got really a lot of details over here. We see what's going on in the background. We probably don't want that many details, but it's a good start. Then I'm going with the contrast because we need to increase the contrast and automatically what is happening, we increasing these nice colors. You can notice that some of the highlights are too bright. So at this stage, I'm going to take down some of the highlights, but I might add a little bit of the exposure. I want to have it brighter, but then I pay attention what's happening with the highlights. As I want this image to be truly saturated, then I will start with the vibrance to make sure that I will bring everything else than the yellows before, because I have a lot of orange tones here. So going with saturation might be a little too much. That's why I decided to go with the vibrance for this image. Then I might actually decrease some of the whites as well and give it back a little bit of the highlights. So this is the good start. Now I'm going to close this basic panel and I will go to Hue, Saturation, Luminance. In here, I will be trying to work with many these colors that we do not have too many. So blue, purple, magenta, I want to increase them. I want to increase the lights on them because I want these small details to be visible. I want them to play the part on this image. Aqua, also visible, more saturation and some green, we still have some green, some green windows, they will compose really nicely here. And when it comes to the yellows, oranges, rather careful with yellows, okay, but the oranges, as I said, just a little bit, and just a little bit of reds. So this is really nice, I truly like it. If you want to go a little bit more extreme. So look at this image. We have some of the reds and yellows. Think how you can make it into more complementary colors. I could grab these yellows and move the slider. I could also grab these greens, move the slider, and for oranges, I can also move the slider a little bit. So with these small, simple things, what I was able to do, bring some greens to the yellows, and right now we get much more of this cyberpunk effect, as you can see, and the colors complement each other much better. So I can manipulate a little bit with red as well. Let's have a look, how does it work? I really like the effect. I'm going to increase the saturation for yellows a little bit. And this is something I like. So don't be afraid to manipulate with the colors to make this a little bit more complementary, especially when it comes to the night images. I often choose really natural results, but when it comes to the night images and playing with neon lights or something like this, I let myself a little bit further and I'm playing with colors as I really like, and I try to think which colors complement each other really well. So we have some greens that are not very strong. We could push it a little further, and now it would be even better. It would be even more. So think of it, what you can do. We can turn this color, this magenta, a little bit more into reds as well, if there, there would be possibility to give it a little bit more red, but I don't want to lose too much of the purple, so rather careful with it. And that would be it. I can also see how the split tuning will work, but split tuning could actually change a little bit of the outcome. So I would see the shadows as we don't have much of the shadows here. I want to see what works better, if it's red for the shadows or it's rather cold colors. So I rather stay careful once again with it because I don't want to lose these reds 
these reds are also very important for me over here I can see the balance a little bit better so once I adjust the balance I think it goes quite well so now we have standing out color the reds are a little are a little bit too small I think the other colors dominate a little bit too much so I would like to get probably a little bit more red I will see if it's possible to do this by increasing the highlights but it also affects some of the yellows or rather greens that we have right now so also very careful with it just a little bit and that would be it so now I get this cyberpunk effect as you can see once again the green is dominating but what I'm going to do I'm going to transform this a little bit to decrease the range I will see if pressing auto can fix this image a little bit I don't feel it's straight as it's supposed to be so I would rather do it by myself I'm going to rotate this image just a little bit probably plus 0 0.2 will be good for this image and then I'm going to change the scale till around this range move it just a little bit and this is something I would look for so this is quite centered and that's about it so now these greens do not really these greens yellows do not really dominate that much over the image because we change the range just a little bit and this is how I usually work when it comes to the night images when it comes to the neons we can try to do a little bit more contrast over here with curves I think it will work really well and we can also I think the shadows are really nice but maybe just flattening them just a little bit could give us really interesting result so let's have a look at the image before and after the difference is really impressive